There's something hidden inside me. What is it? It's a memory. A memory? A memory of what you did. There's not enough films made like this. There's not enough of these kind of psychological thrillers which are literally inside the mind, which bounce around with the hundred billion neurons or whatever it is we have going on here and kind of mess with the mind. Where is it? I can't remember, I got hit on the head. You can mention Memento, you can mention Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. These are all films like I admire enormously, but those filmmakers have also mentioned as inspirations to them, Nick Rogue, who's one of my big heroes. And he was the guy who more than anyone said, you know, cinema is perfect for taking time pa past, time present, time future, time imagined, and they're just one. There's no differentiation in cinema, which there isn't, unless you choose to color code your memories. That cinema is so intense an experience of present time that it allows you to use all these different time references, even imaginary ones, to pass as evidence, clear and uh, you know, trustable evidence of what you're watching, of the inside of the mind. I love that in movies, I think it's fantastic. Have you ever been hypnotized before? Whatever is in his head, she can find. Now I want you to relax, Simon. Stop. What can you make him do? Anything. Have you been hypnotized? I'm a bit of a control freak, I have to be honest. Directors are control freaks. They can't relax enough to get pr truly hypnotized. Except I kind of do get hypnotized by actors, by the story, and you kind of try and use that skill in the, use that appeal in the, in the way you make the film, but no, not personally. There is something about filmmaking that is, uh, has a trance-like effect on the audience. Is that what you're going for? In all movies. Yeah. I think in all movies, no matter what kind of type they are, you, uh, uh, you agree to be voluntarily hypnotised, I think. You buy, you buy a ticket and you go and sit there and the flickering image and you, you forget reality. And it's an illusion. They're not even really moving. But you make them move. Where is it? Why did you lie to me? They say that women are much better with these kind of films, curiously enough. Even they look like male films. These psychological thrillers with a kind of puzzle in them. They say women are much better at absorbing them because they relax more and go with the flow, whereas men are always trying to organise. I was trying to go, oh, no, no, I don't believe it. Yeah, and, and kind of get regimented about stuff. So hopefully people will have a lot to talk about. I have something to tell you. You ready? I remember.